After a business user fills out a cloud governance service request form, the information that they enter is routed to that service request approver or approvers, and they receive a notification email. This email provides a little bit about the actual submission and a link. Clicking that task link takes the approver over into the cloud governance portal where they can review all the information provided by the business user as part of their service request and make a decision about approving and rejecting. For less complex service requests, or service requests where you simply feel that the review of all that information is not necessary, you can change how cloud governance notifies the approvers by including approve and reject buttons in the email message. Please note, doing so still provides the task link, so the approver can still go over into the cloud governance portal and review that information if they choose to, but it is no longer required since they can work directly from here. If that aligns with your governance policies, this makes less clicks for the approvers. You can also do other things to the email as well, like changing the header logo and removing the AvPoint information at the bottom. All of this can be done over in Cloud Governance. In Cloud Governance, we go to Settings, and in the System category, we scroll to the right and we go into email settings. In email settings, if we scroll down, we can see enable actionable messages. This provides the approve and reject drop-down buttons in the body of the email. If you would like to change the logo, select use a custom branding logo and click browse. Locate the image and click open. And then down at the bottom, here's the option to scrub some of that additional AvPoint information at the bottom of the notification emails. Click Save. And now going forward, notification email messages sent out to your approvers will look like this instead of like the original format. Of course, mix and match the features as you choose. It is still strongly recommended that approvers click the task link to go out to the Cloud Governance Portal and review all the information before clicking Approve or Reject. But if it is something pre-approved or maybe they've discussed offline and they're comfortable with coming in here and working right from the email, we can click either of these buttons, provide comments, and then click Submit. We can see that the email message has now changed, the request has been approved, and if I click my task link to open up the Cloud Governance Portal, here is my original task, and we can see I no longer have approve and reject along the top. If I go back into Cloud Governance, and we take a look at our All Requests report, here is that particular job now running. Thanks for watching this short video on how to customize approver notification emails using cloud governance.